here, went back. Hello to all the listeners. I'm sorry, I was just getting my groove on for a hot second. Almost didn't want to come on air. You know what happens when the soca music gets played. <laughs> so, um, this is another edition of In The Mix Mondays. I am here, Miss Light Lively, with my Yak Radio fam, DJ Will, spinning, playing my stuff right there. Say hello, Will. Yo, what up, what up, what up, what up? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, were you juicing now? Um, that look yes, weird. That, I, look, that look weird. It's strawberries and bananas. What looks weird mm-hmm. about that? Anything, okay. anything strawberries on is not good. Really? Okay, so, have that little... so the listeners who have no idea what you're talking about, I have a, um, well, this is from, I'm not trying to do free advertising, but I have a Nutribullet. Nutribullet. And it's supposed to be really good for you. And you're supposed to, like, you know, do, like, the fruits and the vegetables and everything. I was on it for a hot minute, then I fell off, and then I'm trying, well, it's too hot, so this is probably my dinner. I'm not going to eat anything. You know, it's, it's, it's sometimes it's just too hot to eat. Hey. Yeah, it's hot as hell so outside <laughs> right now. How so, was your weekend? It was good. Um, the weekend was really nice for me. I had a good time. Um, I went to a pool party. And this is the first time I've actually been to a pool party and actually went in the water. I wasn't planning to go in because I didn't want for a bathing suit. But, you know, oh well, things happen. You know, that <laughs> But it was fun, and the, these people, they had a nice, pool. huge house out in um, Dix Hills, and it was a heated pool, oh. so it was it was official. Who and was that? Where? Huh? With your people? A friend of a friend of a friend, you know. <laughs> you know how that go, one person hear about it, and the next thing you know, everybody's invited. So it kind of just happened that way, but it was, it was mad far out, though. Thank you, thank you. Really late, but thank you. Anyway, so for those of you who don't know what's going on today, I have a special guest, um, always 100 in the house. Yo. And we're going to play some of his music a little bit later. I'm going to get to know him and, you know, ask some questions and interrogate like I do. <laughs> don't worry, it's not going to be that bad. It's all good. What's up, everybody? Yes, yeah, say hello to people. Hello, hello. So, it's your boy, always 100. Yes, always 100. I just like the name anyway, but we'll, we'll get into the name yeah, later. Yeah. So um, for those listening in, if you want to call us up, not right this second, but um, in a few, the phone number is 877-760-1422. Um, so this is your first time on, so I have to explain to you what I do. I know you've been up here before. Yeah, I've been here. Yeah, great before. Shout out in the loop too. Yeah, shout out in the loop. Yeah. Um, man, man, law. Law movements, man. Yes. Up? So, um, I do this thing where it, you know, I kind of um, express myself a little bit and talk about. We're not gonna get into it right this second, but we'll get ready. I, I, I talk about the things that people do that kind of irk me, get on my nerves. It's kind of like a venting thing. <laughs> yeah, something like that. <laughs> so, well. What you doing over there? Get on the mic for a What did you do over the weekend? Uh. And other than I know you had a party. Now, um, this weekend, what did I do? Uh, um, not much. Not, not much. Oh, spend time with the fam. Oh, that's okay. Um, uh, work, park. I'm um, that's it. Working what? Going to the park. Oh, park. Yeah. To the park with the fam. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, that's well, well, yeah. So other than other than the um, the pool party, I did um, go to the beach and the pool. And actually, this is what my set it off is gonna be about. So, I think. <laughs> you ready? I think I'm ready to set it off right now because there's some things that I just really don't understand. She don't eat her that's the beef drops. My beef drops? Yeah. Oh, I guess you, you, can't, yeah. you, you can't find one. <laughs> I got it. Okay. I'm ready for you. I'm ready? Oh, oh, oh. What you thought? We might as well. There we go. <laughs> hey. See, hey. He kind of, he kind of. I've I'm been ready, you, man. You, you, you too busy over there drinking a the Henny. Like, nah. put the Henny down. Damn. And they didn't even offer me none. But whatever. All right. So. Oh. Okay. Ching, ching. So now, 
you guys go to the beach, right? Mm-hmm. Well, the first thing I just want to share some news. I heard this on the um, on the the news. I'm sorry, not the radio, but I heard it on the news before I came over here. Now you know how most people are concerned about like the beach being dirty. Mm-hmm. So this is really dirty about sharks. <laughs> well, I heard about there's a shark um, off of Jones Beach. They they were yeah, um, yeah, a, nice. a great white shark wow. named Lucy that they're tracking. I so, didn't name it though. I don't know. So I will not be getting in any kind of beach water because I'm not trying to get eaten, eaten up by no damn great white shark. But y'all could, y'all could go ahead with that. Anyway, <laughs> but... So, what's up with this beach? So, you know, people are always saying the beach is dirty. They don't want to get in the water. Well, other than the sharks, people never really talk about the sand, right? So they were talking on the news today and they were saying how the sand has all this bacteria and a lot of fecal matter. For those of you who do not know what that means, basically, how should I say this? Uh, crap, doo-doo, uh, waste, um, <laughs> excrement, like there's a whole bunch of, but basically, it's not really safe to be chilling on the sand. So you need a blanket or something so to make sand. The sand has, has shit in it, basically. How? I don't know, but I've it just does. I mean, I mean to. Seagulls. I had to. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess. Yeah. I gotta be. I mean, but they were saying it's a, it's not like water, so it's not like it. The bacteria washes away, so it's just stays. marinating oh. and shit basically. Oh. So all of y'all who want to get buried in the sand and all of that, yeah, y'all, y'all <laughs> might want to think twice. <laughs> I'm just saying, you might want to think twice about that. Mm. All right. See, this is news, right? You didn't know that, right? You know nah, that, right? yo. So when you got no. your baby, um, yeah, you know, yo. picking up all kind of sand and doing all, you might want to make sure you sanitize them. But you see me, I'm very finicky with stuff like that. I don't really lay on the sand because I hate sands. Because once sand's getting on your shorts, on your toes, and you're lazy, for days. It don't even feel right. Well, if, you, right. if you wash right, it should be No, it doesn't. Trust, sands are tricky. <laughs> it will stay on your body. Like for a couple of hours after you should take. Well, I don't you know. That don't, don't, I, yeah, I, I, I don't really it, watch, so I don't think it stays on me like that. But anyway, yeah. that's just a news flash for y'all. Check your ears. Look, oh wait, <laughs> nah, I, I did, I did the Q-tip thing. <laughs> so the ears are good. But this is, I did want to set it off. Um, speaking of seagulls, I cannot stand seagulls. And for those people who are on the beach feeding them, you know that you're not supposed to feed them, right? Uh-huh. So now they start swarming around you because one person is like holding like this no this happened over the weekend so we're at the beach and this person is holding up bread or whatever food that they're holding up so you see all of them just like swarm into the area yeah. and I'm so like your area. as long as it, no it wasn't but it was kind of close oh. it was close know. enough and I really don't want to go to the beach and worry about being attacked by seagulls because your dumb ass want to be holding the food and you know they gonna come after it. Yeah. Okay. So could y'all please stop it? That's not. That's not cute. No. That's not cute. No, I don't think it is. Especially right. you black and you doing that. <laughs> I don't even remember who it was. If it was a snowflake or not, or a Spanish lat lat Latina or who. I don't remember exactly who, but just don't do it. Yes. And it's, you it's know, irritating. Like, it's irritating. They come and crap on your head yeah. and stuff. Like, you know. <laughs> Even though it's good luck. <laughs> no, I don't know. They say, I don't, I don't listen. If I'm at the beach, I'm trying to relax. I don't need a swarm of seagulls flying over for no food. Stop, stop and then no food. eventually somebody's going to crap on your head yeah. or on your blanket or, you know uh, what I'm saying? You chilling, minding your business, and then the seagull drops on you. You know what I'm saying? So, that's luck. <laughs> nah. That's good luck, though. Like, when a bird or something. That's something. what they say. Word, man. Yeah. Yeah, well, um, you got blessed before. You got blessed. Before. Uh, long I did. Long I did long time ago. Long time ago. I, I was walking. I was in <laughs> high school. I was walking up the hill. I should go to Hillside, Jamaica High School. No, Edison High School. How many so high I'm school walking. you got thrown out? Of? You don't remember which one? No, I'm nah, just I, I didn't get thrown out. I just, um, like, so I'm walking. The pause, right? Nah, nah, I never. <laughs> I was a good student. Okay. You know, so I was walking and I heard, what's going on here? And everybody stopped. Like literally, that was the, the main focus. Oh god! So I found it was a big pile of crap Ew, on my shoulder. That's Damn. disgusting. <laughs> At least it got on your shoulder. Yeah, yeah man. Skin. I always thought it was my head. It was in your I hair. wouldn't mind my head because I always have a hat on. 
Well, I'm a female, so that's not going to work for me. You, 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 you. That's all in the issue. You yeah. have to, like, wash, blow, set, dry. <laughs> nah, that wouldn't work. All day. Especially in the wintertime. If, if it was summertime, it's easier because the hair stays curlier, you know, because it's too hot and humid. So I usually wear my hair more curly in the summer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, on a regular. Uh, on a regular. Uh, yeah, so one other thing, I'm gonna set it off about beach um, etiquette or whatever. All right, so there are people who like to go to the beach and play soccer or volleyball or whatever kind of ball sport you want to play. I'm playing here, Will. Like whatever balls. <laughs> so guys, stop um, chasing each other. Listen, so I didn't see. <laughs> you know, if you want to play soccer or whatever it is. I think they need to have a designated area away from everybody else because I've witnessed people get hit in the head with the soccer ball or the volleyball and they're they chill you chilling you know you laying on your blanket trying to get your tan on you know or whatever and, and next thing exactly now you get busting your head with a soccer ball or volleyball <laughs> so I'm gonna need them to like they need to really designate an area far away from everybody else. Mm -hmm. And then, not to mention the saying getting kicked in your face while you're trying to, you know, y'all kicking around, that's that's not working for me. Oh, yeah. That's really not working for me. So, yeah, I just wanted to share that. And I think we need to implement Address some that. rules yeah. <laughs> at the beach with the balls and the, you know, kicking of the sand and your kids running, everybody running, kicking sand and yeah. the wind is blowing. Now I have sand in my mouth, in my eyes, and my hair, sand like, it's, it's not really... Have you ever, yeah, you, know, you never had no. sand in your mouth? No, I'm a man. I can't get sand in my mouth. You can get sand in your mouth. No. If your mouth happens to be open and somebody's walking over you. Oh, of course. Man law. Man <laughs> law. <laughs> man <laughs> law. No, 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 no. Man law. Seriously. No, we're not. We're not going through this. No, I'm just saying. I'm like, a man. You get a little grip. No, 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 no. I'm a man. My mouth will not stay open for any no. sand to come in. <laughs> Facts. Facts. <laughs> Facts. All right. Well, whatever. I'm just saying. And now, since I just dropped the news about the the doo doo in the sand, um, the you do. definitely don't want to get any sand well, in your mouth. One thing I have to say with the beach that really bugs me: um, the kids that are running around, like they, they, they run on your 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 side, like <laughs> and their and their families. It, 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 <laughs> honestly speaking, my it's always the Hispanic kids. That's always running wild. Yeah, I tend to agree. Kicking, with you. kicking your bucket, kicking your. I'm like, <laughs> I went to the beach with, with my with um the guys I work with, right? I'm chilling, I'm, right? Here come these bunches like six kids running like jumping on. I'm I'm looking at them like, yo, I'm right here. And yeah. here come the. He's like, hey Jimmy, come here, come here. Uh, it kind of makes you want to like strangle other people's kids, but you know, yeah. people just just you know, you have to kind of be aware. You're not the only person on the beach. There's other people around you. You know, I've seen kids running by you, running on my blanket. Like seriously. I tripped the ass. Yeah, well, good idea. <laughs> okay, I don't put no violence. No, but, I'm not. I'm you know, not. If you didn't see it, then it, it wasn't me. Anyway. See something gonna say nothing. So <laughs> does okay. So that's pretty much it for my set off. I don't know if um, always a hundred. You have anything that you might wanna add? Or no, I really don't go to the beach like that for real. And it's crazy because my um, my family is from Jamaica, so. I love I love the beach and I even live by the beach. You know what I'm saying? But I don't really go there like that. You know what I'm saying? I shot a music video at the beach though. Oh really? Yeah. I, I 